how to write the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios of an angle in a right triangle. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to look at any right triangles and knowing its sides, be able to write the sine, cosine, or tangent of any angle. For instance, in the middle triangle here, if you knew its sides were as stated, you should be able to write the cosine of A or the tan of C or the sine of C. You should be able to write any of the three basic trig ratios from the right triangle sides. All right, this tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash 3 Other goodies on that page include a free worksheet with answer key and many other practice problems. All right, let's first step back, talk a little bit about um, what the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios mean and how they work. If you remember, sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And when we say opposite adjacent, we always are talking about in reference to a certain angle. For angle B here, the opposite side is AC. Its adjacent side is CB. If we were talking about angle A, its opposite side would actually be CB. So just remember, when we say opposite or adjacent, we're talking about in reference to a specific angle. Now, what's neat about these trig ratios is that they are always true for a certain angle. And let me just step back and say for a minute, remember that all of this stuff only applies to right triangles. So the whole point of the bottom three triangles here that have different side lengths, notice the top one, 6, 8, 10, the bottom one has side lengths of 3, 4, 5, or sorry, the middle one, 3, 4, 5, and the bottom triangle has a 1.5, it's 2, and a 2.5 um, lengths. They all have an angle of 37. And I created this to show you that the sine of 37 is always exactly the same number. It always is the decimal 0.6. You know, I'm rounding here, it's, it's a little different from 0.6, but if you round it, it becomes 0.6. And if you just go back to our basic definitions of sine as opposite over hypotenuse, the sine of 37 is opposite 6 over hypotenuse 10. The sine of 37 in this triangle is opposite 3 over hypotenuse 5, and in this one, 1 1.5 over 2.5. And again, the point of these is to show you that the sine of any angle whether it's 37 or if you wanted to find the sine of 30, for instance, it's always the same, no matter how big or small the triangle is. The sine of 30, and that's why we can use our calculator, right? If you pull out your calculator, it'll tell you that the sine of 30 is 0.5. It's just a fact about right triangles and a 30 degree angle. The sine ratio is 0.5. All right, so our goal today is to be able to look at a, um, right triangle and to be able to write the ratio in question. So for instance, let's try to write the sine of C. And basically the steps are just like the first step is to make sure you are coming from, that you're keeping in mind that the angle that we're referencing, which is C. So once we know we're talking about C, we just have to remember what the sine ratio is. The sine, if you remember, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So all we have to do is identify them. The opposite of C is 8, and the hypotenuse is 10. And so the sine, in this case, is 0.8, or 8 over 10. The tangent of A. Okay, so just remember, step one is just to make sure that you identify the angle in question, and then use the right ratio. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite of A is 6, and the adjacent is 8. So that is the tangent, or 0.4, or 0.75. Okay, let's try two more triangles. Cosine of A. Right, step one, mark off the triangle so you're keeping your reference clear. Cosine of A. If you remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent to A is 7, and the hypotenuse is 25. 
and 7 over 25 is 0.28. Now let's find the tangent of C. Right, mark off your angle. We're talking about things in reference to C. Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And the opposite of C is 7. And the adjacent is 24. And 7 over 24 is 0.29. You know, we're going to round it to, to 0.29. Let's try one more triangle. Cosine of A and sine of B. All right, step one, mark off your angle, cosine of A. Remember the ratio, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent to A is 14, hypotenuse is 50. So this is 0.28. The sine of B. The opposite to B is 14. And the hypotenuse is 50. Right, another one that's 0.28. All right, so that's it. This is um, just one of our many Sokotoa tutorials, and its point was short but sweet. How to be able to look at a right triangle, given its sides, and write either sine, cosine, or tangent of any angle. You can find more practice problems, um, including harder ones, and as well as a free worksheet on our webpage, mathawarehouse.com/sokotoa. Thank you.